Hello, I'm Sergeant Major Spano from Baltimore Middle Senior High School. Uh, I've been asked to make a, an, instru an instructional video on how to tie certain knots and to demonstrate how to construct the rope bridge to help schools understand a little bit more because you can't learn just from reading the manual. So we're going to show you this video. Okay, making the Swiss rappel seat. First, we're going to focus on how to tie the rappel seat. One thing, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your rope and you're going to marry both ends together. If you're a right-handed person, you're going to hold the rope in your left hand. If you're a left-handed person, you're going to hold the rope in your left hand. So Justin's going to hold his in his right hand, correction, in his right hand. And then with his left hand, he's going to trace down to find the bite or the middle of the rope. Once you find the middle of the rope, you're going to take that bite and you're going to place it on your left hip. All right, you're going to drop the rope. You're going to then reach around and grab the rope, leaving the bite or the middle of the rope on the left hip. You're going to bring both ends in front of you. And when you do that, the right side of the rope should be shorter than the left side. Now you're going to make two wraps. One, it's just like an overhand knot. And then you're going to make one more wrap. So now you have five looking wraps. One, two, three, four, five. Now the rope is opposite where the right is now longer than the left. You're going to reach down between your legs from the back. Okay, turn around. Now, there are two ways you can do this. This is the way that I've taught my cadets. You're going to route the rope from bottom to top and bring the rope up over your shoulders. This is one way. Another way is going from top to bottom. At the end of the day, you're still tightening the rope around your waist and around your hips. So right now what you're gonna do is you're going to squat and pull the rope, do that a couple times. Now, this is where some people get confused on where you have to attach or create a half hitch all over your hips. So you're gonna take the rope, you're going to go from the inside and pull it to the outside, thus creating a half hitch. This is the half hitch. Then you're going to do the same thing on the out other side. You're going to go from in inside, when I say inside, is by your buttocks, outside, creating the half hitch. So, Justin, move your hand. This is the half hitch on the left side. This is the half hitch on the right side. Turn around this way. Then you're going to bring, bring both ends of the rope to your left hip and tie a square knot. Now remember, just say to yourself, right over left, left over right. You've created your overhand knot. Then you're going to take the left and go over the right and, and tie another overhand knot. Now you've created the square knot itself. Now, here's the other part that was in contention. You're going to t tie these off with an overhand knot. So in this way here, you're going to go around both the knot, I mean the rope, and, your, and the rope where the, the tail, and you're going to go back through itself. And we like to say it, it looks like a pretzel. All it is is an overhand knot, all right? So then you're going to dress it down, okay? Now don't distort it so it looks like that's an overhand knot, not a half inch. And you want to dress it down towards the knot itself. According to the Brigade SOP, you have to have at least four inches of tail. Four inches is the width of your four fingers, okay? So you, if you have a 15-foot rope and an average size cadet, you'll definitely have plenty of left over. So then you finish this off again. You're going to tie another overhand knot, but remember, it's only tied around where the square knot is. Don't wrap it around the other knot itself. You create your overhand knot this way. Remember, it looks like a pretzel, and dress it down. And again, you have plenty of tail. And you can take the, the rope tails and stuff them in your cart, in your pocket or whatever, so it doesn't get in the way. <clears throat> okay, tuck that in. And then the last thing you do is you're gonna take your snap link. Now, you can use a non-locking snap link like this or a locking snap link. By the regulation, it just has to be a steel carabiner and it's rated at nine kilonewtons per, uh, for, for the snap link. 
all right? This one here is rated at 22 kilonewtons, but it can be locking or, or non-locking, okay? So you're gonna face it towards yourself, opening the opening gate to the snap link. You're gonna run it through both strands and you're gonna rotate it around so the opening gate is up and out, all right? So when you open it, you can easily hook into the rope ridge rope, okay? So what you're looking for to inspect is that you have five wraps here, that you look at the square knot with two overhand knots, that it's a square knot here with the two overhand knots, not half hitches. Then you have the half hitches that are created after you've tightened the rope, going from inside to out, on this side and then on this side, and that's your half hitch. Now you've completed the Swiss repel seat. Can I show the grand knot and the... Okay, so let's show you what you don't want to tie, just in case. Okay, so where people make the mistake with the, instead of tying a square knot, instead of remembering right over left, left over right, they do something else and the square knot is not tied correctly. This is a granny knot. You do not want that. If you remember right over left, left over right, you'll create the square knot. Now, the other thing, like I said, people were making the mistake of tying a half hitch instead of the overhand knot. They were just going down and through creating a half hitch. That's not correct, okay? You wanna make sure you tie the overhand knot Yeah, there you go. You want to come back around both ropes through itself, creating what looks like a pretzel, and you're tying your overhand knot. And it's dressed down. He's going to finish this one up here again. Okay? And then stuffing the excess rope. Remember, you have to have at least four inches of, of excess tail to be considered a correct Swiss repel seat according to the 6th Brigade One Rope Bridge SOP. Okay, so that is how you construct the Swiss repel seat on your Raider.